Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland. This is the 300th episode of Let Me Bore You to Sleep. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Yeah. And um, that's it, really. I am streaming it. I guess you're going to know this anyway, because I've uh, I posted it on Facebook, but and Twitter, but I'm streaming it live on my website, so you can listen on my website, which you're probably doing anyway. I guess. Uh, yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, the also at the bottom of the page, whether you're on your uh, laptop, tablet, or phone, if you're listening to this live, it's six minutes to one o'clock a.m. on the thirteenth of January, two thousand and twenty, UK time. So if you're listening live. At the bottom of the page, there's a chat with us, we're online um, button, which you can click on and you can send a message to me and I will read it out in this live broadcast. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? Do you think? No? (laughs) I think it is pretty good. So I've just, uh, I'm waiting to see if there's any massages. And I've got my laptop on with the the page, which will show me the messages. I was trying, I was trying to get a way of people phoning in so I, they could kind of uh, phone in and say hello and stuff. I didn't really want to do a Facebook live stream. I just don't really want to be on camera. I prefer just to do the audio, really. Uh, so I hope I hope that's okay. I did post something on Facebook a few hours ago saying that I'm looking to do a, a live broadcast, but I. Th- I didn't mean, I think that might have come across as that I was going to do a live uh, stream on Facebook, you know, with Facebook uh, video thing, which um, I tinkered around with it, but I decided not to. So there you go. So I am currently doing this live. And what I thought I'd do is I'd talk a little bit about how this came about. Now, while I'm on here, you can send me a message if you want on Twitter. You can send me a message on Facebook. You can send me a message from my website. uh, And I'll read the messages out. There's got to be some other ways. I need to figure a way around um, the message side of things. It will just be a bit easier for people, a bit easier for me. You know, to have the... uh, I want the player embedded in my website because that's the place to go, really, to listen to my live stuff. I'd also like, I uh, quite like the idea of being able to have a, I don't know, some kind of message thing underneath the, the player. So people can just like post messages, but maybe there is, maybe I'll look into it. It's probably not the right time to do that right now. But, uh, yeah, so see, I should be able to see if anyone's live now, 
it's a live view according to this there's no one live there are no live people in the world right now but I like to think that uh, it might not be correct but it might be correct oh that was nice what I'd quite like to do actually I'd like to do a to be able to do a radio show where I can play music as well now that appeals to me very much oh wow I've already had an order today and in the last 58 minutes I wonder what that was who ordered one of my recordings okay I won't read out who it was because it's personal but I know who it is good number 68 relaxation hypnosis for stress anxiety and panic times by two why would you want two surely not would you want do you get two at the same oh. I didn't know it was available to get two quantity sold yeah, I wonder why it said times two. Unless there was another. That's weird. Yeah. Unless it just didn't go through the first time or didn't go through as quickly. Shop fulfilled two items. Two times 68 relaxation. I wonder why it's. Yeah. Don't matter, you can order as many as you want, it's all free at the moment. Um, ah, so let's have a look, see if there's anyone online yet. Come on, people, come join me. Join the fun. Come on, join the fun. Join the fun. Fun. I mean, it's a little bit early in the morning or late at night for the UK citizens, to be fair. Um, but whether it's okay for other countries or not, it might be a weird time. But it doesn't matter. It's still going to go online and it's still going to be... Um, There, you know, what I mean, it's still going to be um, available to play and to download and stream and stuff. But the weird thing about it, when I normally make recordings, I'm, I don't do them live normally, and I'm absolutely fine with that. But when I do go live, and I've got no one listening, I almost feel like a, <laughs> a little bit of a loser. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, okay. Uh, where are all those uh, those hundreds of people that normally listen to my uh, Let Me Bore You To Sleep recordings every day? Where have they gone? Uh, never mind. I do like it. I'm looking at my website and just seeing live now 300th episode of Let Me Bore You To Sleep and it's streaming live and I just I don't know, I quite like it let me play it to you I put it on quite low volume um, but let me just play you see if what it sounds like There you go. It's a little bit behind. Um, so there's, a, there's clearly there's some kind of a delay from when I speak until when it actually comes out of the. What's it? I'll press pause on that. Though. I don't need it playing. I 
don't know why I just get a little kick out of stuff like this it's like ooh look I'm live I could technically go live all the time the only thing that concerns me is uh, if the internet cuts out then the whole thing will just stop I don't need the internet when I make a recording I just need it when I'm uploading it and my internet did cut out about an hour ago just stopped working uh, so I did sort of delayed me from what I was doing uh, but I thought I'd give it a go give it a punt you know give it a chance to do a live session and uh, see if it works out okay hopefully it, it's fine uh, which is good I mean what I might do actually is go to go to Spreaker and see if anyone's actually listening to it because someone might actually be listening to the show on there because I'm not sure whether or not it will actually show will it show on the nah. no it's not showing any stats on there so what is that I'm going to have to delete that one saying here episode 300 I'll get rid of that because that is duration 5 seconds I'll get rid of that that was just a tester so I don't need rubbish like that on there so yeah, statistics uh, doesn't give me a live statistics it was alright you know yesterday or yeah yesterday I got 307 downloads on the let me bore you to sleep podcast uh, so yeah so I put it, I've just put in live 300th edition of let me bore you to sleep so I'm actually going to leave it as that instead of number 200 you know number 300 I'm just going to just leave it as that so people can uh, know what it is and you can listen you know you can set off balloons and party poppers and wear hats and stuff uh, celebrate eat cake you know things like that just to celebrate 300 300 recordings just on this podcast alone which means if you're listening on most podcast hosts, you're not going to be able to listen to the beginning. You're not going to be able to listen to like the first 50. Because most podcast hosts, as far as I know, only list the most 250 episodes of a podcast. The, the last 250. But the good thing about is good thing for you is they're all on my website so all of the older all of the elder ones the ones that are you know a couple of years old now I basically got podcast episodes that are toddlers they're like running around now on their own it's amazing I'm like a, a daddy of 300 children it's weird <laughs> it's kind of strange a little bit because I've never I've never done so many uh, recordings in I always I always used to call them courses that's what I used to call them like chronic pain course or a relaxation course or something like that but I've never done this many of anything like all of like one thing you know one not one subject but one 
topic, in a sense. I mean, I haven't even got 300 relaxation recordings. I'm not far off that, but I haven't got that many, even over 15 years or 14 years. Why is it saying it is 301? 301 listenable episodes. No, no, it's not. It's making it up. So I'm, I'm now, now, just over 10,000 off the 100,000 mark. I've got 89,707 total downloads. So by February, I should have reached 100,000, which will make me very pleased. Just one of those little things that gives me a little kick, a little ooh, you know. So yeah. So what I'll do when I've finished, yeah, what I, what I'll do is, when I finish, I'll just upload it as normal, and it's fine. Um, if I was about to, I think if I gave like a specific time when I was going to do a live recording or live broadcast like I'm doing now and I said it's going to be 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock in the evening, uh, a Friday evening, every Friday evening at 9, then I could then be relied upon, couldn't I? And you could say, okay, we'll be there at that time and stuff, but... I just, um, I haven't managed to sort of get my, my act together kind of to do that. Get my act together, I sound like a, sound like an 80 year old. Get your act together, pull your socks up, use your loaf. Use your loaf? What are you on about? Well it is, it's saying, there is people on the page Oh, a visitor right now. One. I think it's just... I don't know what it's doing. I don't think it's really giving. Oh, I've got a message. Let me read out my message if there's a message. Again, you can leave me a message on Facebook or Twitter. And I will read it out. Providing it's a nice message. A lovely, cute, wonderful message. And this message is from me. <laughs> this one that I sent earlier. It's a tester. It says, hi, baby. Fair enough. Okay, so I'm not going to... Well, I just did read it out. I'm not going to read that out, although I just did. Yasmin asked to join Let Me Bore You to Sleep. Isn't it approved? Why? I thought anyone could just join. Oh, that's weird. Member requests, approval notifications. Admin activity. I, uh, why? I can't believe it. People are asking to join the Let Me Bore You to Sleep group. It's a public group. I thought anyone could just join it. That's what I thought. Moderate group. Ah. I honestly didn't think there was that don't make sense to me admins and moderators it's just me I'm the moderator and the admin all members Oh, I think it's people, there's those that are 
following and those that are members. Ah, okay. Got ya. So Yasmina, Gemma, Alice, Nadia and me are members. So with a member I can make you an admin, make you a moderator, turn on post approvals, remove from group or mute member. That's what gives me the options to do with people. Now I don't know if making someone an admin does that mean that they can see what messages that I get because I don't really want that it's personal is it someone sends me a message saying hey not that anyone ever does but if they did I said hey quite like what you're doing you're very boring and, uh, which is weird I never thought that would be a compliment So I've got, I haven't got a lot of people really in, on that Let Me Boy to Sleep page. Uh, 144 like the page, 145 follow. So it's only a small amount, isn't it? Uh, in all honesty, I don't really give it much attention. Um as far as like trying to get people to follow but community groups could build a community around your page community so yeah today it's been well yesterday was Sunday um, not done a huge amount uh, so that's okay Likes 54, okay. So you used to, the Facebook changes stuff constantly because there used to be a thing, you go on a page and it let you, I could see who's added themselves to me. So my Jason Newland hypnotist page, I've got 29,554 people like this and 29,277 people follow this uh, and there's 242 of my friends follow yeah. get more oh, I don't know what that is close so it thinks that I'm trying to do an advert and I'm not I'm really not trying to do an advert. Invite your friends. No. Uh, no. No, no, no. Friends and Jason and Hypnotist. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, Leticia. Juju, Claire, Rihanna. Um, Susan, Brooke, uh, let's see, Rachel, Alex, Molly, Jody, Kate, Sue, Dana, Innes, Elizabeth, Eric, Bex, Suzanne, Joanne, Suzanne, Two Suzanne, isn't it? Suzanne, Kay, Margot, Ashley, Janica, or Yannica, Fiona, me, Percy, that's it, Percy, Tracy, Fran, Kim, Cindy, Gail, hi Gail, Gemma, Alice, hi, Mary, Carrie, Carlin, Ella, Pamela, Amy, Lindsay. Lindsay's been following me for absolute 
Literally years and years and years. Uh, Carrie, Katrina, Jean, Adrian, or oh, Andrea, sorry, Pamela, Carol, Riley, Kirsty, Nancy, Annette, Kathleen, Tyna, Teresa, Joel, Alice, Deborah, Donnie, Mickey, Drea, Gary, Angela, Cheryl, Daryl, Emily, Celeste, Dennis, Adam, Ron, Corrine, Patricia, Victoria, Sasha, Sandra, Julie, Kathy, Becky, Robin, Matthew, Elana, Shauna, Miller, Matma, Fatma, Kimberly, Sherry, Linda, Kirsty, Veronica, Teresa, Steve, Gemma. It's really weird, you know. I'm looking at the pictures of these people and I'm just remembering just like um, pictures of these people that sounds rude doesn't it pictures I'm just noticing or remembering people from the past uh, that I've had contact with maybe through messaging or um, requests or stuff like that yeah right, who else is there Mark is not junk okay Oh, I get so much junk mail, it's absolutely ridiculous. I'm sure everybody does, but wow. It's just ridiculously ridiculous. I've just uh, added Jiv is it Jivo chat to my website. And Just waiting to see if anyone's going to send me a message, but no one has. Nobody has sent me a message. So I was. I probably don't really need it on there, I guess. I do have a message box that people can sort of send a message and stuff. But uh, if anyone's live now, hello. 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 Eop, Eop lad. It's a weird time of the morning, really, I think, for a lot of people. So, who else have I got there? I've got Gemma, Melody, Manuela, Bernie, Jean, Will, Shelley, Todd, Faith, Gianna, Kathy, Alfie, Ramona. See that that name a certain well if it's a man or woman, Ramona Ice. Sounds like a famous person. Nanette, Alice, Shirley, Shirley Shirlin, Pat, Bronlin, Christopher, Trish, Alyssa, Prenda, Carl, Juliana, Beth, hi Beth. Chrissy, Christy, hi Christy. There's people that, um, some of these, these names, like people from the past, or well, from present as well, but that I've sort of haven't maybe spoke to for a while. Marcel, Pal, Kissy, Lilith, Megan, Elisa, Rick, Sylvia, Louise, Louise or Louise. Twyla, Haftis, Elizabeth, Jennifer, Parthena, Steve, Joelle, Sharon, Esther, Martin, Catherine, Ginger, Stacy, Tiffany, Diane, Annette, Katie, Susan, 
Jessica, Sue, Bree, Angela, Claudia, Nicholas, Celeste, Doreen, Laura, Laurie, Kelly, Alice, Claire, that's another person from way back, Josephine, Adeline, Amanda, Suzanne, Ellen, Anne, Sharon, Martha, Donna, Kelly, Andy, Debbie, Lucy, Cheryl, Ruthie, Debbie, Alexandra, Courtney, Tammy, Anna, Karen, Kathy, Angel, Donna, Jackie, Melissa, Ang, Anne, Carol, Chrissy, Joanne, Lisa, Alex. We're nearly there, don't worry. It's, it's 242 people. That's just, these are the, so these are out of the people that are on my, that like my Jason Newland hypnotist page. Uh, but 242 are of my friends that are like it. The rest of the 29,000 are people that I've, don't know who they are. Alex, Beth, Sheila, Tina, Amy, Jane, Anna, Kay, Louise, Catherine, Rebecca, Paula, Annie, Beverly, Yvonne, Asaintu, Philip, Catalin, Sandra, Susie, Mary, Cecily, James, Richard, Lindsay, Aninha, Darlene, Jane, Deanna, Heather, Wendy, Ali, Ginger, Anne-Marie, Marissa, Ephesia, Frederico, Randy, Nicole, Diana, Amanda, Felicity, Elizabeth, Joe, hi Joe, Kenneth, Michelle, Lisa, Ellen, 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 Stephanie, Toya Maria, or Marie, Claire, Chelsea, Lisa, Vicky, Belinda, Bren, and Deborah. So that's, yeah. That's the, the likes. Is that all the likes? Yeah. Click on the visits. <laughs> Nobody. They're the likes, but no one's actually visited. That's weird. So no one actually visits the page. I possibly got too many pages. A bit like I used to have too many toilet rolls or too many kitchen rolls, or too many uh, deodorant tins. You know, I always used to buy in bulk. Not a cash and carry or a warehouse or something, just from the supermarket, and I get a delivery and I buy enough for maybe six months or for the year ahead, possibly. But and that was a boring story, no one, no one can argue on that one. That was so boring, incredibly. Let me bore you to sleep. Gemma Alice has joined. So I wonder 
if anyone's actually left a message yet. So I'm going to look at the statistics to see if anyone's actually listened yet on the podcast itself. Yet. No, nobody. Not a single sausage. So let's go to the Jivo site to see if anybody's actually left me a message. If not, I'm probably just going to get rid of that. It's not really necessary, I suppose. I'm not planning to do live sessions very often. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to... Uh, where is it? The apps. I'm going to get rid of Jivo. Get rid of it. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care of yourselves. Delete. No point to that. See you later, Mr. Jivo. So now that will change my website. So, yeah, go on. I mean, I've got a, um, a contact page on my website anyway, where you can just leave your name, email address, and just leave a message. So that's available. And of course, you can leave messages on my Facebook page. But uh, so Judith uh, liked the page, the post on Facebook. Not sure if she's listening now. It's hard to know. It's a uh, it's a difficult one to know if anybody is actually. Boy, is there anybody there? Is there anybody there? So, so far in the last hour, I've had visitors from the United Kingdom, the United States, Canada, Netherlands, and Norway. Hello, everyone that has visited, or those that are here now. Um... But then I'm looking at 13th, 08 a.m., 4 p.m. Uh, I don't know. Oh, it's the 12th. I got you. Okay. Got you. Got you. Got you. Top referrals Google Android, Google Quicks, each box. I wonder what I did yesterday, how many different countries I had yesterday, people visiting my website. Uh, let's have a look, let's have a little look. Oh, a few. I had the United States, United Kingdom, Netherlands, United Arab Emirates, Canada, China, Bulgaria, Sweden, Spain, and India. That's nice, isn't it? So why don't we just, let's have a look. Say, has it got year to date? Yeah, year to date. Let's do that one. So far this year. Wow, that's a few more. So I've got visitors so far this year. It's the last 12 days, really. Um, I'm trying to put the can down quietly, but it doesn't always work. So the top... Well, this is interesting. It's not really, but... The top country, the top two countries, or the top... Okay, the top two countries is the United Kingdom in the last, uh, this month so far, the last 12 days this year, 2020. United Kingdom. The next is United States. Now, in every other statistics on podcasts and anything else, 
the United States always comes up at the top. So for some reason, I'm getting more visitors from the United Kingdom and then the United States at the moment. So far this year anyway. Third is Canada. Fourth is the Netherlands. Fifth is Ireland. Sixth is Australia. Seven is Bulgaria. I love Bulgaria. Eighth is Sweden. Ninth is St. Martin, Dutch part. Ten, New Zealand. Eleven, Cambodia. Twelve, United Arab Emirates. Thirteenth is Germany. Fourteenth is Spain. Fifteenth is Malaysia. Sixteenth country is Switzerland. Seventeenth country is Norway. Eighteenth country is Saudi Arabia. Nineteenth country is China. Number twenty is Austria. Twenty one is Belgium. Twenty-two is France. Twenty-three is India. And twenty-four is Poland. So this year so far there are twenty-four different countries visiting. Now let me see. Last year. Yeah. Let's see last year. Oh, it's a little bit longer. Well, that's in, yeah, America. United States is at the top of the list for last year. Then it's United Kingdom. Then it's Canada. Australia. Sweden. Germany. Netherlands. India. Ireland. United Arab Emirates, Hong Kong, Norway, Brazil, Israel, that's Andre, oh, I've got a story to tell you about him, I'm not, I'm not very happy with him at the moment, New Zealand, Spain, France, Denmark, China. So I'm confused about China because I, well, according to the newspapers, China has its own internet. But, so maybe it doesn't, maybe you can let me know. If you're listening from China, welcome. Uh, Finland. South Africa, Italy, Philippines, Malaysia, Austria, Indonesia, and I've got one here that says not, not applicable, so I've not heard of that um, country, Poland, Switzerland, Iceland, Mexico, Singapore, Belgium, Turkey, Romania, Thailand, Vietnam, Taiwan, Republic of Korea, Ukraine, Sri Lanka, Saudi Arabia, Russian Federation, Greece, Czech Republic, Pakistan, Cyprus, Japan, Jersey, Europe, Croatia, Portugal, Senegal, Serbia, Albania, Egypt, 
Nigeria, Morocco, Qatar, Bangladesh, Costa Rica, Uzbekistan, Chile, Panama, Estonia, Colombia, Lithuania, Algeria, Dominican Republic, Kazakhstan, Myanmar, Slovakia, Namibia, St. Martin, Dutch part, Brunei, Jerusalem, Nepal, Nepal, Hungary, Georgia, Lao People's Democratic Republic, Isle of Man, Argentina, Bulgaria, Barbados, Puerto Rico, Lebanon, Moldova, Republic of, Asia, Pacific region, and Mauritius. So that's the countries that have visited me. Um, the different countries have visit, visited me last year, so I don't even know how many there is. That's got to be nearly all the countries in the world, isn't it? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, Twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six. Thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty, forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four. Forty five, forty six, forty seven, forty eight, forty nine, fifty, fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, fifty four. Four, fifty five, fifty six, fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty nine, sixty, sixty one, sixty two, sixty three. Sixty four, sixty five, sixty six, 
66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, and I've miscounted somehow. And you know what I just realised? Right at the bottom of the page it says showing 88 of 88 results. <laughs> it says 88 countries. I could have just said that at the beginning. Blimey. How did I manage to miss some out? Edit columns. How many reached the checkout? Not many. Sessions converted. Page views, let's have a look. Oh wow. Well that was surprising, there's a lot of page views. Thousands and thousands of pages views. Bearing in mind that last year Let's have a look. How far back did it go? September, October. I've only had this website for about a month. Uh, two months or something. I had it a few, a little couple of times in last year, but you know, I was using other website hosts. So I'm gonna stick to this for the whole year, whole of 2020. I'll be very interested to see how it works out. You know, how it, um, this from a statistic perspective. I'm going to go back to today, go back to today. Yeah. <laughs> United Kingdom, United States, Canada, Norway, Netherlands. What about yesterday? Yesterday. Oh, United States was the top. And then United Kingdom, Netherlands, China, Bulgaria, Spain, Sweden, India, United Arab, uh, United Arab Emirates, and Canada. So, yeah, so the USA was top. So today, so far, is we're only two hours into the day, so there's still plenty of time. 
What if there's a live view of anyone's live right now? No, apparently not. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. No. You know, I can't be playing around. Uh, I should explain what I mean. I've been playing around with the idea of Just what to do with the website, what maybe to have some kind of live call-in system. You know, people can call in, phone in live. and It's just all costs money. It just, it's... I, I understand that everyone's out to, to, you know, to try and earn a living, aren't they? It's not free, is it? Living, live paying rent, buying food, mortgages, travel, you know, none of it is free. So, I don't know, people have to have money, but it makes it a bit harder when you're running a free service, you know? You're trying to kind of, uh, trying to get things for free. And no one else, you know, a few years ago I actually contacted the local um, recording studios and I asked them would they be willing to let me make some recordings there for free that in return I'd uh, you know I'd put an advert of their web you know I'd promote their recording studio and tell tell people where I recorded it and I explained that I'd be doing this for free for years and I didn't get one reply not one reply. Oh, another funny thing I did is, and we're going back to probably 2007, I sent CDs, audio um, CDs, of a recording. A It was kind of a relaxation slash pain relief recording that I recorded specifically for a hospice that, that was why I recorded it with that in mind and then I duplicated the, the copies and I made loads and loads and loads and I sent them all around the country to different hospices you know telling them that here is a free CD and you can also find my recordings on my website and stuff like that so I sent, I, I say loads, I don't know how many I sent out, but I sent quite a few out. Probably spent a couple hundred pound on postage or something. So, But I had a job at the time, so it was fine. And I sent loads out. I got no response apart from one person who sent me an email, a long, long, long email. And in the email, this person dissected my recording and basically um, it gave me a review <laughs> of the recording the quality the contents the usefulness that he thought it might have and I think he was like a doctor or you know he's very um, you know, he worked at the hospice but he completely obliterated my recording. I'm guaranteed, I guarantee you, no one listened to it. That he had it once he got hold of it. He didn't play it to any of the patients. I can, I'm pretty certain that's the case. Unless he did and they all thought it was silly and they were all just rolling around laughing. But even that's not a bad result, is it? If you can have everyone in the hospice rolling around laughing, that's a that's that's a brilliant result, even if it is because of the recording is so ridiculously bad. So it's I thought I was doing a good thing. Put loads of time into it. And the actual recording wasn't the that was probably the easiest part, but I did edit it and I tried to make it sound quite good. And then 
I spent loads of time copying it, you know, on the laptop, putting another blank disc in, copying it, and I sent 50 or 100 out, or something like that. And I just sent them to all, you know, loads of hospices around the country. And I really thought, I don't know what I thought. I thought it was useful. I thought it was as a nice thing and it would be helpful. And the reason I did that is because I was getting messages from people in other countries that were using my recordings as part of a hospice program, as part of a treatment. And I actually had, um, I had one person, I think it was in America or maybe Australia or Canada somewhere, he, he actually contacted me asked my permission to use my recordings in a a study in a like a you know a proper medical study I was like and he was going to be playing the recordings to people in a hospice environment for pain relief I was like yeah of course you can never did find out the result I tell you the weirdest thing, and also hugely, I just got really excited about this. Back in 2000 and probably eight, uh, maybe 2009, but around that time, probably about 2008, I received a message, uh, either email or on Facebook, I can't remember, and it was a DJ, like a proper musician. And he said, uh, hi, listen to your, I think it was, I had a podcast at that time, um, listen to your, uh, one of your recordings, and I really like what you're doing, uh, like your voice, and I'd like to sample your voice to put it on a track that I'm making. Can I have your permission? Seriously, it's like, of course you can have my permission. It's like that's that's just proper exciting. And stuff like that. I had a great day. That day was great because it was so ex- it's like wow. And uh, he did. He actually made two recordings using me. One used me more than the other one. I think one had me as like the introduction. Welcome. I only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes or something like that. And they were like, close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes. And um, he did another one as well where I was talking in it with like music over the top. And and he sent me the recordings. I wish I still had them. You know, I've lost so much stuff over the years. Recordings that I've made, recordings that other people have made using my voice a uh, couple of radio interviews that I've lost a couple of recordings themselves that I've lost as well as thousands of testimonials and reviews and you know comments people have left like positive that I used to collect and I've lost them on laptops and computers and just through error and like oh but that I'd love to be able to hear that again, just because it was a good recording. It wasn't really my type of music necessarily. But I don't you know, necessarily have a type. I'm quite open, open-minded when it comes to music, and you know, it was a priv- I just, It was a privilege. It was a. It's a. It was. I don't know. It was. It was an ego boost, probably. I just found it exciting, and when he did send it to me, I found that exciting as well. I did share it on Facebook at the time, but it's such a long time ago. I mean, it's, what, 28, 2008, 2000, that's 12 years ago. That's a long time. And I think he was in, 
I'm pretty sure he was in Bulgaria, actually. I think it was a DJ in Bulgaria. Pretty sure. Can you imagine if that was a hit? You know, and had my voice sampled. I'd make money from that, wouldn't I? Can you imagine, like, he had, like, a summer hit and it was me saying... Relax your body, and I don't know stuff that I say, sort of uh, entwined into the music. You know, like a real trancey song. And your buttocks feel relaxed, and I'll suddenly get a royalty check because it's like the biggest hit all over the world you know for the summer it's like and I get I'm sure if you know if I did get a royalty it'd be a, wouldn't be a huge amount because I didn't write the music or write the song or anything but how cool would that have been oh oh I'd have to dream about stuff like that it wouldn't even be about the money you know what I mean and for me it's just to have a hit song without having actually done anything to be part of something like that would just be so groovy it makes my toes tingle with excitement so let's see if anyone's left uh, any comments and nobody's left any comments on Facebook nobody's left any comments Twitter, let's have a look. Twitter. Twit, 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 Twitter. No, nothing on Twitter either. Uh, no, so nothing there. So let's have a look. I'm just looking at something on Twitter. Page is uh, Twittering. I don't know what you call it. What the word is? Tweeting or trend? Trending? That's it. Someone on Love Island. So there you go. So I haven't had. I might have had people listening whilst it's live, but. According to the stats, no one, I've only got a couple of people live, listen live, and there's no, I go onto Spreaker and it says, I've had no one listen, there's been no plays, but it doesn't mean that's true, because I think sometimes the results only come up when I stop the recording sort of live plays so that would be interesting so it is time to stop this recording but I will be back tomorrow um, yeah I'll probably just I'll rename it just 300 and just live 300th edition yeah So thank you for listening, those of you that are listening, um, because this is now going to just be a, a streamable, downloadable recording, like all the others. Thank you for listening. Thank you for um, being with me for 300 recordings, those of you that have been with me from the beginning of this particular podcast. I, don't know, I just think it's just weird to see the number 300. That's one heck of an amount of hours. You know? It's, uh, it really is. 
Let's see how many hours. So if I put playlist enabled. Right, according to this, 328 hours and 53 minutes throughout the 300 episodes. 328 hours and 53 minutes of me talking about nothing. It's not bad, is it? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you for... Um, thank you for joining me. Thank you for listening. And uh, I did do yesterday, I did a, a new episode, a new recording for the relaxation for sleep uh, relaxation for what was it relaxation hypnosis for stress anxiety and panic and I was quite pleased with that recording but so I maybe check that out I think it was number 72 on that podcast uh, I did also post it on Facebook as well on Twitter and it's on my website so thank you very much for listening see you tomorrow lots of love and remember to be kind to yourself because you do deserve to be happy lots of love